This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Katie of Salvaged by K. Scott, and I am a full-time furniture flipper, furniture painter, saver of furniture from the landfill, er, but in today's video, instead of making over a single piece of furniture, we are going to be making over my nine-year-old son's entire bedroom. This is my nine-year-old son Lincoln's bedroom and it is in need of some serious TLC. We've lived in this house for just over six years now, so this has been his room since he was three. The walls are battered and honestly filthy. The color is boring beige. He has a hodgepodge of different broken hand-me-down furniture. Nowhere to display his favorite Lego builds or his weird little meme collection. And it's really just time to change things up. This is our mood board for Lincoln's new space. We worked on pulling this inspiration collage together back in the fall, just to come up with some ideas so that he and I were on the same page with things. We're not going to be replacing the carpet or scraping the popcorn ceiling. His fan is toast, so we are going to be swapping that out. We're also going to be painting the walls in his favorite green and reworking the layout. I've collected a few new things, a few secondhand dressers from Facebook Marketplace, and I'm going to be flipping a new headboard and a thrifted tub chair to bring things all together. We got started by clearing things out and emptying the whole room. We sorted through Lego, we sorted through laundry, I moved his nightstand and dresser out to the garage, and then we pulled these LED light strips down from around the window, and all of the paint came with it. Next, I got to work washing the walls and trim with some simple green and hot water. I also went around the room with a putty knife and some drywall spackle to fill in all the damaged spots. And then once that was dry, I sanded it smooth with a 220 grit sanding block. Saturday morning, Dad, Doug, Mr. Salvaged, got started on painting. We used Bear Marquee in this glorious green that Link chose called Green Agate on all of the walls as per the boss's instructions, and the trim and doors got a fresh coat of bright white. Doug has these strips of poster board that he cut up a long time ago and he just shoves those up under the baseboards whenever we are painting up close to carpet. I think they're just genius. We have enough to go around the room so there's no worrying about having to move them or trying to tuck bulky drop cloths up underneath. I had big plans to do a DIY leather headboard build, but once I priced out the lumber and the upholstery materials, I decided that this $92 metal and fabric Amazon option was gonna be the smartest choice. I really wanted a warm, rich, leathery look, so I am going to DIY that with some paint, just not yet. I knew that I wanted to center the bed on this back wall, but that wasn't going to leave a ton of space in the room for a regular dresser. So I started looking on Facebook a few weeks ago for some small Ikea dressers to put on either side of his bed. This way he's still got the drawer space of a six drawer dresser, but they double as nightstands. I thought for sure whatever I found would need to be painted or cleaned up in some way, but I managed to find a matching set of two Malm dressers in pretty much brand new condition for just $40 each. Now we needed to make some new shelves to showcase the never ending Lego collection. I bought these metal brackets from Amazon and then I cut down some one by eight pine boards to the same length as the dressers. 
I stained them with a warm brown and we hung up three shelves on each side of the bed right above the dressers. Doug also managed to swap out the broken ceiling fan with this snazzy new propeller style one that Lincoln chose from Home Depot. In between all of these little projects, I wanna take just a moment of your time to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make this new year a year of learning, growth, and connection through your creativity. If you have a specific skill that you are trying to learn or a new hobby that you're trying to get into, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start. They've got classes on everything from photography, interior design, woodworking, business management, you can find a class that will match your goals and interests. This week I took an hour to myself to sit down and work through the class Work From Home as a Creative by Amaryllis Henderson because, well, I feel like I've been spinning in circles lately trying to juggle work life and home life and still incorporating all of the amazing new things that are coming up. So taking that time to sit down, learn some new strategies and reframe the way that I'm thinking about a few things was really helpful for me. Skillshare is ad free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills and they launch fresh premium classes every week. So there's always something new to discover. Members get unlimited access to learning with classes that you can always work through at your own pace. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box of this video will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Now for the headboard. I totally scored with the fact that this padded panel comes off with just a few bolts, so I could take just this part down to the garage to work on it. You've probably seen one of the many painting upholstery to look like leather videos somewhere on social media recently. I have attempted to chalk paint an upholstered chair before and it just didn't work at all for me. So I chose to attempt the fabric softener and latex paint method that Drew from Lone Fox made pretty famous last year. I grabbed three colors of latex paint. These are all from Benjamin Moore. I have a light camel, a medium brown, and a darker brown and I mixed up a bit of paint at a time in a two to one ratio of paint to fabric softener. As you mix the fabric softener into the paint, it kind of thickens up into a gel-like consistency. I sprayed down my fabric with some plain water and then brushed on my lightest color over the whole headboard. one of those times where it looks awful right up until the very end so you really just have to have faith and trust the process. I let each coat of paint dry and then sanded it with some 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out any roughness or bits of fabric fibers that had balled up in the paint. coat was just the one color and for the second coat I started to blend in some of the darker saddle brown color around the edges to add some depth and dimension. I had a jar of plain water there as well just to keep everything really wet so that the paint colors would blend together easier. It ended up that the two darker colors that I had chosen from Ben Moore were almost identical, not as different as I was hoping. So I ended up skipping the middle tone using the darker tone as my mid tone. And then I grabbed some house and canvas chalk style paint out of my furniture paint stash in the very appropriately named color leather and used that as my darkest shade. In the third and fourth coats is when I added that darker shade again around the edges. With each layer of paint, the fabric got a softer and more leather-like feel to it. So I just kept that lightest color in the center, blending out darker and darker as it got to the edges. This little 
tub chair that I thrifted for $12.50 on a half off furniture day. Got the exact same treatment as the headboard, but because it had this pretty strong pattern with raised stitching, that definitely shows through the paint. So it's not as good as I was hoping for or as good as the headboard turned out, but for my nine year old's bedroom, I cannot be mad at it. Lincoln loves bright colors. So we bought these fun posters on society6.com and framed them to fill in the space between the shelves. Once I had those hung on the wall, the headboard was dry enough to put the bed back together. I also thrifted this bulletin board a little while ago and I'm gonna use some leftover furniture paints in a bunch of different colors to refresh it a little and kind of try and tie it into that funky poster above the bed. To finish things off in here, I made up his bed with some fresh white sheets and this awesome duvet that I also got from Amazon. I filled his new shelves with some of his favorite Lego builds. We did also stick his LED lights back up on the back of his dressers and headboard to give a really cool backlit effect without destroying the wall again. had fun working through this project with us. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you decided to do that. I post a brand new furniture makeover video every Saturday. Also, if you could leave me a thumbs up, share this video with a friend or leave me a comment down below, that helps the channel out so much as well. I have to get to planning my other son's bedroom makeover now that Lincoln's is done. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you all next time.